are gathered here today not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is, the love between Jamie and Aaron. And we are here to witness their entrance into the sacred and joyous covenant of marriage. We are also here to celebrate the beginning of their journey, their journey together as husband and wife, as partners in life. just so happened to be getting married. The not so ordinary part is that we are making promises to each other and vowing to keep them for the rest of our lives. I knew I wanted you when you first turned the corner of the restaurant on our first date. The entire room around me went silent just like a movie and it was hard to breathe. I was completely taken by your handsome old school good looks. <laughs> it only took our five hour long date to know I loved you. I instantly felt safe and your conversation, kind eyes, gentle voice, perfect sense of humor, inviting presence and charisma set you apart from all of the rest. I daydreamed of this day from that moment. Since then, we have been inseparable. We moved in together on our third date two and a half years ago, and I can count on one hand the number of nights we've spent apart since. You've grown to be my very best friend in every sense of the word. You've helped me triumph over challenges, and you've encouraged my personal growth physically, mentally, and spiritually. You have helped me become the person I am proud to be today, and with your help, I will be an even better person tomorrow. Now, with all of that said, I promise to always laugh with you as it really is the best medicine. I promise to never go to bed angry. I promise to remember that love is saying, I feel differently, rather than you are wrong. <laughs> you break that one sometimes. <laughs> I promise to trust and value your opinions and always stand by your actions. I promise to ask you for help when I need it and always offer my help when you need it. I promise to comfort you in times of sorrow. And yes, this does include rough Mariners and Seahawks seasons. <laughs> you work harder than any man I've ever known, so I promise to make the other aspects of your life easier. I appreciate you every waking second of my life, and I promise to always make sure you're aware of that. More important than anything I've said thus far, I promise to love you under any circumstance, happy or sad, easy or difficult, through the sunshine and through the rain, for the rest of my days and beyond. I am the absolute luckiest, and I couldn't imagine growing old and wrinkly with anybody else. <laughs> I love you. I, Aaron, take you, Jamie, to be my wife, my best friend, and my everything. I place every ounce of my heart and soul into the palm of your hand to hold on to forever. I treasure our love and friendship and will continue to every minute, every hour, until the day I die. I remember the day we met so vividly. What should have turned out to be an awkward first date. <laughs> <laughs> became the beginning of a lifetime love and undeniable friendship. Your beautiful eyes captivated me, left me feeling speechless, and they still are at this very moment right now. We talked, we laughed, we guessed what other people would order for dinner. Do you remember that? 
and hours later we stood outside and kissed, but I only gave you my cheek. <laughs> In my heart, I didn't want to mess up a good thing with you, and I'm glad my instincts were right. I've never felt like I was fortunate enough to deserve such a loving person, and to one day be able to call you my wife. I'm the luckiest man here today, not because of your physical beauty, but your inside that I love and hold so close to my heart. Your soul is beautiful. I only hope you can accept my soul as is. <laughs> and also pray that one day my heart is as full and nurturing as yours. I admire your ability to inspire others. Some of the lives you have inspired are celebrating with us here today. They are healthier, feel more happy. because of you. My place in this world formed after meeting you. You're the one I turn to. You're the only one I can count on when I feel sick, stressed, or upset. It would take 10 lifetimes to tell you how much I appreciate you. I also love that I can rely on you to create a mean, color-coded Excel spreadsheet <laughs> for anything we need to track or organize around the house. <laughs> I can't wait to wake up tomorrow by your side as your husband to know I have every inch of you all to myself and to argue over who's going to get up and make the coffee. <laughs> I can't wait to see how perfect you'll be as a mother. can't wait to see how in love we are in 30 years and also be dancing our old butts off like we will be later. Here, my sweet angel, are my promises to you. I promise to put you before myself at every moment to honor you as my wife and best friend. I promise for that every amazing memory we create I want to share it with only you. I promise to make you laugh each day. And if I'm laughing at you, try not to make it obvious in public. <laughs> I promise that anytime we disagree or argue, I will, f <laughs> I will forgive and I will forget you. Forget. <laughs> forget. No. Don't forget me. As quickly as possible. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> and not go to bed angry. It's no. funny you said the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I promise that for whatever trials and challenges we encounter, I will be right by your side to hold you and cry with you. This does not include things like sad performances on The Voice <laughs> or a touching YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry, but you're crying on your own. With those <laughs> I promise to love you when you're not at your best and to be there for you whenever and wherever you need me. I vow that from this day forward, my life is about doing whatever it takes to ensure your happiness, your health, and your safety with me forever. I look forward to our next chapter together, living a, every day with you by my side. At this moment, we are about to become one, and I'm as excited and happy than ever that it's you standing here with me. This is my vow to you today, my only wife and true friend forever. Jamie, Aaron, uh, you know, thank you very much for, for letting me be a part of this. It means the world to me. Uh, incredible ceremony. The personal vows, wow. Uh, they were tear-jerking machines. I was watching your crew. No tears even close for me. I was like, oh, man. Jamie's crew, woo! Uh, this venue, didn't know it existed. I'm a Puyallup native. and. Didn't know this existed. Incredible. Uh, everything you put together for us, the food, class act people, you treat us extremely well. Uh, but then above and beyond that, 
two incredible, beautiful people. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, Mel's heart, uh, we wish nothing but the best for you. I'm Leah, Jamie's maid of honor and friend for like almost 20 years. I have known you through school, out of school, and of course growing up, and now our relationship has just grown more towards family, and we're just like sisters, and I really appreciate you asking me to be your maid of honor, and I love you so much, and I've never, ever, ever seen you more happy, and of course I want to thank you for being a part of that, and really sh making Jamie shine, and I have really never ever been more honored and this is such a beautiful wedding. I've never been to something so beautiful and I just want to thank everybody for coming and I just want to say cheers. <laughs> so just cheers to the new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. I love you guys and thank you for having me. Being here today feels like being in a fairy tale with a few deviations. Of course, instead of Prince Charming, we have Aaron, Prince Very Charming. <laughs> Jamie's much too beautiful and has her act together far too much to be considered a damsel in distress. And fairy tales end with happily ever after. And your story begins today with happily. So I've always been proud to call Jamie my sister, and at last, I can be proud to call Aaron my brother. So ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses. My hope for Jamie and you, Aaron, is that you, your bodies will grow old together and your love will grow strong and never die. I love you. Cheers. My baby Jamie. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's hard to talk. I'll. I love about you is caring hard. You have kindness and caring hard. And I remember a long time ago when you were four years old, I was riding on my bike. I come home, you opened the door for me and you said, Daddy, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Daddy? I said, what's wrong? She said, come on in. She, you put me inside the house and you get towels <laughs> Take my sweat because it's hot summer day. She wiped my sweat and she gave me a glass of water. And she, I said, I need a water. She get me the water and she come running to me. By the time she come to me, there is no water anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so cute. And I saw that he, you know, complaining. I love her attention. <laughs> so that's why I know from that time she's going to be a wonderful wife and wonderful mother. I know that. You have a huge heart, baby. And uh, you are a gift from God. You are. And I will always be grateful, baby. Always. To have been given the honor of being your father. May God 
bless you guys. Aaron, the first time I lay eye on you, I like you. <laughs> but, but now, I love you, because I have no choice, y'all. <laughs> All right, cheers. I don't make promises I can't keep. Oh no, that's just not the way love's supposed to be. Oh no, and if I was to ask for your hand and mine, would you give me a chance to make you shine? I know that my heart's been so close before, but I just need to know.